Are we ready? We're ready. It's getting bright. We gotta we gotta roll. I know the line is <clears throat> the line is creeping. Okay. Car coming. Car. Another car. Game on. Game on. Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. We have another great installation video for you today. Working on our project Aprilia Touareg 660. The cool thing about this particular install is it's available for all kinds of motorcycles. So no matter what kind of ADV bike you have, whether it's an Africa Twin or a Tenere 700 or you know a GS 850 or a KTM, whatever. The Alt Rider Company has made this product for all types of brands. They are non-denominational, which is kind of cool. I like that they don't discriminate. <laughs> but check this out. I'm particularly excited about this particular install. Today we are putting on the Alt Riders adjustable uh, foot peg. Foot peg? Foot peg. What is this thing called? That's a side stand. Thank you. Today we are putting on the Alt Rider adjustable kickstand and this thing is a work of art let me tell you it's beautifully cnc machined i love the form and the factor i love that it's black you guys know black's my favorite color uh, and it's going to be a fairly easy install one thing that really impresses me about the alt rider company is not only do their products come out beautifully their customer support is phenomenal but what they include with their uh, orders is pretty cool too Check this out, a spring puller. Now, you don't think of a brand that, you know, you're buying their kickstand that they're gonna think to include a spring puller for you, knowing that you may or may not have one in your garage. I don't happen to have one. So this is brilliant. I think that's just forward thinking and just a testament to how good their customer service is that they would include a tool for you that is, you know, not as common. Um, so I think that's really cool. As always, anything you order from Alt Rider that requires um, Smurf blood, is what, what we call it, uh, thread locker, they're gonna include a little tube of resealable thread locker for you as well. Um, so you use a couple of dabs of that and then you can put it in your travel kit underneath your seat or wherever you carry that for your motorcycle. That way you have some for on the road. My favorite, as you guys know, I love stickers. So this will go on our famous sticker bench where I have all my uh, work platform and I'll get that installed at the end of the installation process. But that's what comes with the um, complete kit and um, I'm looking forward to installing it. Uh, I will mention one thing that I love about it is that it's also got a concave, convex, convoluted. <laughs> it has a convex foot to it. It's a very large, nice, beefy foot, but it's also convex. So, you know, when you rock your bike over onto the stand, uh, it's going to be able to be firmly planted on the ground instead of being cockeyed or angled funny because, it's, because the bottom is flat. So that's a really, really neat, ingenious way that they designed their foot to the bottom of the kickstand. Now you may be asking why I'm particularly excited about installing the variable height kickstand on the Aprilia Touareg 660. There, there are two reasons. Number one is from the factory, it's fairly well known that the kickstand is a little bit too leany. Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, but it leans a little too far. It has a heavy lean to the bike. Uh, so for smaller stature riders like me, when you go to push the bike off of your kickstand, it takes a little bit of oomph because the bike is leaning a little bit extra. So one nice thing about the variable height is I'm gonna be able to add just a little half inch riser so that the bike doesn't lean quite so much on flat ground. Uh, and I don't have to give it quite so much of a, of, a, of a shove to get it off the kickstand when I'm ready to get on it. So that's one nice thing just from a stock platform, this is gonna be an improvement for me. But another thing is I'm gonna be installing the variable height suspension kit as well on this uh, motorcycle. I'm a 30 inch inseam, fairly short in stature. You've probably seen some of our videos about the comfort low seat, which has given me an extra, I don't know, a half inch or so uh, lowering on the motorcycle. But the variable height kickstand is gonna be key 
when we install the lowering kit on the motorcycle because we're going to drop the motorcycle another, I don't know, 20 millimeters or something like that. So we'll be able to adjust the stand accordingly. And if you're riding, you know, with a pillion or if you're uh, completely loaded down with a ton of gear, camping gear, going on a big adventure, your bike may sag a little bit more, so you can set this accordingly. If you're going to be just riding completely naked and just going out on a day trip, uh, then you can adjust it again. So, so many different factors that come into play with the benefits that the variable height side stand are going to give me. I'm looking forward to getting this installed. Let's take a look at the tools that you'll need for the job. Before I show you what you'll need to get the job done, quick little pro tip for you from our friend Jason Bennett, who is our videographer today. He always suggests doing your work in your riding shoe, your riding uh, clothes because you've got pads. Isn't that brilliant? So here's what we will need to accomplish this uh, install. Uh, of course, the uh, adjustable aluminum side stand from Altrider uh, comes in your kit. You've got the uh, spring puller which comes with the kit as well, of course. Uh, you'll need a uh, socket wrench and a 15 millimeter um, socket. I do recommend also using an extension with that one just so that you can uh, get past the foot peg, which can get in the way, makes it a little bit easier. A 13 millimeter socket wrench would work as well, but uh, you would need a deep socket wrench. I'll show you why in a minute. I happen to have a 13 millimeter spanner wrench that's going to work really well instead. And then a uh, 10 millimeter socket wrench. Um, last but not least, a four millimeter Allen key. So those are the actual tools that you will need to do the install process. Uh, obviously a torque wrench is beneficial. We do have a couple torque specs, so uh, that'll be helpful. And as mentioned earlier, thread lock or Smurf plug. A little grease is also gonna be helpful to you and obviously a good rag. Our first step in the process to remove the factory kickstand is to pull the spring off. Now the spring has two springs to it. There's a heavy duty and then a light duty. So we're gonna use the spring puller provided by Altrider and uh, go ahead and remove those one at a time. You don't wanna take them off both at the same time. Just do one at a time and walk them off nice and slow. Get in there. I think you should do the big one first. You can get between them that way. There you go. I was trying to get the little one off first, but it just turned out leverage wise, the bigger one was easier to get off first. And I will note that you want to do that while your kickstand is in the up position. Less resistance that way. And you can just leave the spring hanging right here. It doesn't need to go anywhere. We'll be installing that back on the new kickstand once we have it in place. Next, we're going to use the 10 millimeter socket to remove the side stand switch, which is located right behind. It's basically in line with this bolt. But this is the switch right here that uh, cuts the engine when your uh, kickstand is down. Uh, a, a lot of people actually will uh, disable that. There's a device you can plug in that will disable that. Uh, I'm not gonna be dealing with that today. That's totally up to you if you want to delete your side stand switch. I know it's a fairly vulnerable component down here and so a lot of heavy duty off-road hardcore riders um, delete that off of the system so that you know, as you're going over whoops and jumps and this thing is bouncing, it doesn't cut your engine. Um, that can be a bad situation. But I'm gonna leave it on for now and just use the 10 millimeter to remove that from the back. We'll save the original bolt. We'll be reusing that, of course and then just slide the switch off of that shaft and we can just leave it hanging there for reinstallation in a minute. Now recessed inside that switch is a locking nut that is holding the uh, kickstand still in place. So I'm gonna use my 13 millimeter spanner wrench here to remove that. 
Again, if you don't have a spanner wrench, you can use a deep socket, regular uh, ratcheting wrench for that as well. All right, that nut comes off and there is a uh, washer with that, so you wanna make sure you don't lose the washer. For the final step in our removal process, the 15 millimeter wrench is gonna go on the extension. Again, the extension just helps me avoid knocking into that. And just note that removing the bolt from the back, uh, you still have to uh, unthread this. It has its own thread. So you're gonna make sure and uh, undo this properly and not just try to pull it out. And that's that bolt, so we'll be reusing that. You'll notice I've got some cardboard underneath my work surface, and part of that is because if anything were to fall, I'd be able to see it a little bit easier than I would on my gray concrete floor. And there are two washers that are on either side of this stand, so when I pull this off, those may fall out. Uh, we wanna make sure we keep those because those are very important. The bond on the back fell, the one on the front is still there. There's the uh, two washers from either side that we want to clean up and reuse when we install the new one. But that is pretty much it for the disassembly process, you guys. It's really not that hard. Fairly simple. And uh, you can see the comparison between the two. And I'm going to extend this, of course, to get it the height that I want it to be. But look at the difference in the size of those feet. So you don't have to worry about buying one of those accessory plates for this. It already is a nice, very wide, beefy uh, uh, stand that you can uh, plant firmly on the ground. And as I mentioned earlier, it's concave, excuse me, convex. <laughs> uh, so again, as, as you're on the ground, you know, it's gonna find a spot where it's uh, well suited and is gonna plant itself nicely, as opposed to one that's flat you see it's going to be angled and then you're just going to have one edge or the other that's actually holding your motorcycle up. So really well thought out product right there. At this point, let's go ahead and set our height so we don't have to do that later. And you're just going to use the four millimeter Allen wrench. There's two little bolts in here. Once those are released, I can show you on the inside, you can see the different uh, moldings that are a part of this, which allow the stress to uh, dissipate along the shaft and not be uh, resting on just the bolts. So that's a really, really important part of this is how sturdy it is. I'm gonna turn it around and show you the markings on here. And if you'll notice, there's an actual OEM setting. So each of these, regardless of which brand you buy this for, Altrider has gone ahead and marked the correct length for the OEM, original equipment manufacturer's height. So that is gonna basically match up to exactly how tall the original kickstand was. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the bike has a little bit extra lean, so I'm going to uh, Map mark it a little bit, a uh, half an inch above that. And then we also have an extra inch there. And then as you can see, you can go a half inch down or an inch down. There's all kinds of different settings that you can um, set this at. So let's go ahead and lock that in. So that's the new aluminum adjustable side stand from an alt rider. I'm going to get that put back on, but before I do, I'm going to clean the area up. We've got some dirt and some grime, uh, probably from the Florida Adventure trip, 
uh, worked its way up in here. So let's go ahead and clean that out since we already have it removed. Uh, and then uh, we'll get all this installed. Now before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor. Many times when we're doing motorcycle trips, we often travel in packs. That way, if something bad happens to one of us, a bunch of other people got our backs. But what if you're traveling alone and something bad happens? Well, Rick Stewart's got your back. Screenshot this. Rick Stewart, scmotolawyer.com. He's a motorcycle rider just like us. Sometimes he takes trips in groups, and he probably takes some on his own. Seriously, if you need somebody that's got your back, Rick Stewart, scmotolawyer.com. Thanks, Jason. And now that we have everything super clean and ready to go back together, all we have to do is remove the cap from the original side stand, transfer that over to the new adjustable one from Altrider, give that a quick little wipe, clean off all of the old thread lock and put some new thread lock on. Now one thing that I would like to see is uh, if Altrider could invent some sort of a system so that when we put this on their uh, side stand, if it would magically turn to black. That would be really cool. Remember you are going into aluminum, so it doesn't need to be too terribly tight. And of course you do have thread lock on there, so. Ooh. Our next step is to put a little bit of grease on these thrush washers. Hopefully that will help keep them in place. One on the front side, one on the back side. Hey, hey, the new kickstand goes sliding into place. Hopefully we can do that without dislodging those thrush washers. Success. Just a thin coating of grease on the outside of the shaft of the bolt that's going to go through here. Remember you've got two different levels of thread, so you want to just kind of work this in until you've got it started just right. 13 millimeter socket wrench again. Beautiful. Now that the securing bolt is in place, we do want to go ahead and uh, Torque it down. It's 18 foot-pounds of torque, or uh, that's the equivalent of 25 newton meters. So I've got that all set. Right on the money. That's feeling nice and smooth, you guys. Let's get our uh, thread locker and just uh, put a dab on the uh, inner thread on the back here before we put the retaining bolt. Washer goes first. These are the OEM parts that we cleaned up. Reverse order, and then of course the uh, 13 millimeter nut. I'll use the 13 millimeter spanner wrench here to tighten this up. Just make it nice and snug. It doesn't have to be overly tight. You do have thread lock on it. Once that retaining nut is in place, we'll reinstall our kickstand switch. But on the back side of the kickstand is a hole, and this little sensor pin is going to go into that hole. See how that goes all the way in? So you want to make sure that those are all lined up and everything is in place before you uh, bolt that back on. One more drop of... Uh... Murph blood, and then we'll put that final nut back on. 10 millimeter. Perfect, guys. Now let's spring into action. When you reinstall your spring, the hooks are going to go this direction on the top part because you need these to come up from underneath so that you can reach in and grab them. Remember, we're going to reinstall these springs one at a time while your kickstand is in the up position. That's providing you with the most leverage possible. 
big ones on place. You just walk your spring puller around backwards to release it. And two is in place. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's a work of art, you guys. I love it. That went pretty smooth. Let's uh, give her a shove off the center stand and test it out. Ha <laughs> beautiful. That's awesome. Nice. Really smooth action. Look at that, perfect lean angle. That's gonna really be a nice support. Speaking of support, if you would like to support our channel, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share it with some of your friends. We're uh, constantly putting out new products and new videos, so uh, we'd love to have you guys join us for those. And I'd also like to give a big shout out and a thank you to Jeremy and Martin LeBreton at Altrider. Let me know in the comments if you have an Altrider product, whether it's the adjustable uh, side stand or something else. I'm interested in your feedback because I am personally very impressed with Altrider. Uh, thank you to Jeremy and Martin LeBreton for sending us this product to test out on our uh, project bike, the Aprilia Touareg 660. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys down the road. We can chase the sun.